This song is freaking awesome. So this is band. It's like super killer, awesome songwriting. All sorts of hooks and twists and turns to keep it exciting. And it's awesome to learn on guitar. So we're going to break down one of the rockers of this album. And it's awesome. If you got a song request link, bam, click that link down there. It comes to me in a nice email package. And I know what you out there want to learn. But today, this was kind of a request to myself because I thought the song was so awesome. I'm like, I heard it on the radio, I'm like, I am teaching that today. <laughs> so let's zoom in for a closer look and break it down. All right, let's break down this piece of country awesomeness. <laughs> it's pretty easy, right? We're gonna work off an A chord. Now our pinky and our third finger are gonna catch the D string fifth fret and the fourth fret. And it's gonna do a riff that's super cool. It's basically the same riff, but it's tweaked a little bit differently the second time. So let me play it. Okay, so what we've done is we've hit the fifth fret of the D string four times. Down, up, down, up. And then I go to the fourth fret, D string, once, second fret once. So we got. And I go down, up, down, up, down, down. And now what we do is with our pinky, I'm going to grab the D and the G string. And this is a little bit tricky. I want to fret the A chord down here because I'm going to pull off to that chord. I start on the fifth fret. Slide down to the fourth, pull off to the A, so it goes. All right, so it's. Now at the very end, I'm going to do some mutes, and that's going to be down, down, up. That's going to get us to the second incarnation of this riff, which is very similar with one little exception. Exception. <laughs> That was like a Freudian slip right there. Exception. That's the word I was trying to say. Now, here we go. Okay. Now, what we did, same thing on the fifth fret D. Down, up, down, up. Fourth fret, down. Now, I'm going to hammer on to the second fret. Open D to the second fret. Okay. And then I'm going to go mute, up, down. Okay. And then I'm going to add the same mute at the end, the down, down, up. Okay, so if I put those two together. Okay, now the next part, let's see if I can get through this. It's not hard, it's just hard to explain. Okay, so we're gonna go up to basically a D chord. We're gonna have the fourth fret D, the fifth fret A, and we're gonna go back and forth between the strings, sometimes hitting them once, sometimes hitting them twice. Okay, so starting off, D, A, D, because we all love our dad. <laughs> I know, it's a bad joke. All right, so. D, A, D. Now we're going to go third finger, put it down onto the fifth fret D. So we got. Okay, so we went D, A, D, A, A, 
finger on the fifth fret of the D, which we're going to pick twice as well. Okay, so we got. Okay, one more time. starts off the same way, okay? So we got and then it goes back to E, A, D, and then we're gonna put our finger back down on the fifth fret, but we're gonna pick two of the notes together. Okay, so what I did was I went mute up, mute, up, down, down. Okay, so all together. One more time slowly. back to our first riff. Okay, so what I did there, same thing, and then, okay, so what I did is I mute, and then I catch the G note on the low E string on a upstroke. Okay, so I go. So after I hit that, right? So I go G into an E chord, low E chord. Okay. Got that? Like I could hear you if you said yes or no. Let's just say you got that. <laughs> We do the same kind of thing we did with that muted chord part. Okay, so we got. Okay, and then we go to a normal D chord, hit it three times, downstrokes. One, two, three. Now we go to the third fret A or the C note. Tug it like you mean it and then go back to the D chord, and that gets you actually into the chorus part. So, all together. where it just explodes into complete awesomeness, simple awesomeness, I might add. So let's go over that. And then 
I'm going to catch the A on an upstroke. So I pull down. Oh. That's what I got. Now after I pull down, I do two mutes, chucka chucka, and then back down to the A. So all together. So, one more time slowly. Now I go. So, down, down, and then back down. that twice then on the third time it does a climb up we're gonna go from A to C power chord on the third and fifth fret of the A and D fifth fret to the seventh fret which is a D chord and then up to the F which is eight and ten and then back to A for a count of four so it's gonna be okay so I got Seat. Down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 a note and then go to the A chord. Pull down another note, go to the A chord. And the two notes I'm going to pull down from are going to be the third fret of the E and the third fret of the A. So it's going to go. Okay, now that counts as one. We're going to do four of those. Okay, and then one, two, Okay, and then that will get you back into the verse. So, chorus again. And then it goes back into the verse. Everything is business as usual until the next chorus incarnation. And then you go from the chorus into a guitar solo and then a little bit of a breakdown. So let's go over that next part. Okay, so it's business as usual until we get to the end of the second chorus. And from there, it goes into a whole new bridge part. So let's pretend we're going out of the second chorus to the... We get out of the chorus a second way. So we're doing the pull down on the G, C, G, right? We do that part four times. Then we're going to go to a D chord. You can play the D chord here or here, power chords. And then we're going to go to C power chord. And then we're going to do that same kind of pull from G to A, right? 
Okay, so this is going to be what would be the guitar solo part, the rhythm behind it. So I go down, 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 down. So it's down. Slowly, it would be. And you add that four times. Then you go back to the C, or the D to C, I should say. Now, this next part. It's a little bit tricky, so we're going to start off from 5 to 7 on the D string. And then I'm going to go 7, open A, 7, open A. So we got... Okay, now from there, I'm going to go to 5 and 7 on the G string. 5 on the B. And then I'm going to hammer back from 5 to 7 on the G. Okay, so all together we got. Again. And then I'm going to go one, two, three, one, two, three on the open A string. So all together. Instead of putting the pause in there and going one, two, three, one, two, three, I'm going to do seven in a row. Now it's kind of tricky timing because you have to let the last note sustain for a little bit. So it's going to either, depending on how long you let it sustain for, it's either going to be eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I let this note sustain a little bit longer for one count longer. So for me, it's seven. So we got. time instead of hammering I'm just gonna go straight to that note so on the third time you just go straight back to the seventh fret so that would sound like this and then I jump down to the F sharp note which is the low E second fret and I do that same thing that I just did on the A where I hit seven One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. okay now, I know it sounds kind of tricky, but just, you know, rewind it and check it out. Then I'm going to go. So I go one, two, pull down on the D fifth fret, go back to low E, pull down again, and then E chord. So. you back into the song so such and so forth and all that stuff is exactly the same. Now the only difference towards the end of the song is when you get back to it does that twice as long. So instead of four times you're doing it eight times. Then it goes back to the now it does something very different, not very different, a little bit different at the very end. So now we got 
same thing as normal. But now, instead of going, it does the G string. So we got, and then it does the same thing. So the only thing you're doing is you're substituting the hammer on from the open D to the second fret. Now we're going open G to the second fret. Okay, so we got. So go through and listen. Those are all the parts of the song. It's kind of tricky. It's a great, like I said, these guys are amazing. Just really cool, creative, fun, different songwriting. Super catchy lyrics, super catchy, you know, different things that they do rhythmically to keep it exciting. So I highly suggest check out the band. They're really, really awesome. One of my favorite new country bands. Super cool. A family too, man. A little family unit just tearing it up. Yes! Way to go. Don't forget the song request link down below. And if you like what you see, please, by all means, share the videos, post them on Facebook and all that other stuff. Get it out. My goal is to get just a giant freaking army of you guys so we can learn to rock the world. Whether you're young, middle-aged, or older, and you just want to jam out and be able to play with friends and just tear it up in your town, that's what we aim to do here. So that's what I'm trying to do, and I can only do that if you spread the word. You're amazing. Keep it positive, keep it light, keep it fun. Remember, big cyber hugs to all your brothers and sisters out there. Don't cut people down. Brings the whole ship down. We're trying to bring it up, have fun, jam out, and spread music, because it is the cure. <laughs> all right, you guys are amazing. I'll catch you next time.